With snow on the ground, plenty of people are heading for the hills to go sledding, and that can, of course, come with a risk for injury. Two News reporter Leah Williamson is live for us in Kettering with more from local doctors. Well, Brooke, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but these hills can be very dangerous. I just want everyone to be very careful when they come out here. I'm at Hills and Dales Metro Park in Kettering, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Take a look here. This hill is massive, but after lots of people have already been sledding down it, and it's the temperatures have dropped, it's very slick and icy on top of being steep. And if you take a look at the tree line, you'll see lots of broken sleds. That's because this hill, this one in particular, just drives you straight into the trees. That's very dangerous. Dangerous. I spoke with a Kettering Health trauma doctor who said she already saw in her ER one man who was sitting on this specific hill and he had to be seen and is actually still at the hospital now. So here are some tips that she has on avoiding being in that situation. The rush of plummeting down a snowy hill has drawn hundreds to this metro park for years. Well, I've been coming here since I was a kid and it's probably like the best hill around here. But sometimes fun trips end in disaster. Broken legs, broken arms, um, occasionally a broken neck or back. Just this week, Dr. Melissa Whitmill says a man came to the ER after a sledding accident in Kettering. One severe sledding injury was reported at Miami Valley Hospital South, and that's just adults. We get, you know, 10 to 15 total, um, you know, through throughout the the snow period um, here at, at Kettering, but I do know children sees quite a few more. Dr. Melissa Wimmel says taking extra precautions when sledding won't hurt. You see them out on ski hills, people will wear helmets, but no one stops to think about it even just in their backyard, but it, it's a really good idea whenever you're out there to wear a helmet. Sledding in groups is also important so someone can be around to call for help if things do go downhill. But if an accident happens, try not to move uh, the patient uh, because they may have an injury that if you're moving them around before, you know, EMS gets there, you could potentially make the injury worse. And with low temperatures, limit your time outside. Really try to limit a half hour, hour at the most um, that you're out well protected. <laughs> Yeah, we still have some daredevils out here who are enjoying the hill. Um, but just remember, it is about 20 degrees out here in Kettering. And sledding can also lead to some hypothermia because clearly, as you can see, you're in the ground, you're in the snow, you're getting wet. So you need to have layers of clothes on. So that way, if you know one layer gets wet, it's not touching your skin. Uh, for more information, more details, more tips, check out our website, WDTN.com. But for now in Kettering, I'm Aaliyah Williamson. All right. Hope that person's okay. Thank you, Leah.